The future of this region is going to rely heavily on connectivity. But at the end of the day, connectivity works if you have people-to-people -people dialogue and people-to-people -people understanding. So a program like this is uh, really very important to create an opportunity for people to learn by touching and feeling. Without strong leaders, things are not going to move fast and maybe not in the right direction. So I think investing in leaders, giving them an insight and enabling them to look outside of their daily work is key to grow their, their future potential. I think it's very important if we are talking about building a community as well as uh, moving forward together to be inclusive and people-centered. The leadership that this program creates is at the individual basis. And I always say that change happens with people not necessarily with institutions. And one way of doing that is through this program. For the same purpose, the up extra water. What Common Purpose has done in the last four days is something I wish I have in my backyard that I can revisit every month. Now let's put it this way, I've been sleeping less because I've been thinking more about the stuff that we've been sharing. Hi there. The visits have just been so crucial because they've provided an opportunity to really see some of what we often see in, in, in where I come from as theoretical. Uh, we've seen it being brought right down into the practical. 50 years ago we were learning in a classroom. So this sort of experiential learning, transformative learning from people's experiences, sharings, uh, uh, study visits, um, that's the way to go. There was, a, there was a meeting with URA, there was a meeting with the, the DBS CEO, there was a meeting with Vivian Balakrishna. I mean, this is like a, a cross-section of the best of the best in Singapore. I want to put it to you this way. We desperately need new ideas. Not just for Singapore, not just for your respective countries, but indeed for the world. This is, this is the future. This is what my children will be doing. The fact that I'm actually working with people from other cultures and we're looking at this one big problem, which is a shared problem. Uh, I was very impressed with um, the enthusiasm, the ideas, uh, and all the passion that was put into putting the models together, and also how they have laid out what they want to do and achieve. I thought it was very well done. It reflects that to me, what are my strengths, what are my weakness, what are the key points or key behaviors that I need to absorb. Sometimes when you lead an organization, people expect you to empower your employees and do all the good stuff for them. And then you go, like, what about me? <laughs> I've got a new set of friends, a new set of network that now I can leverage to pull ideas and to really co-create with them. That's what I'm excited about.